Recycled, replaced, and still room for more. President William Ruto has named a partially part of his cabinet. Vividly, this situation has essentially been forced on him by circumstances threatening his political survival. In fact, while naming the cabinet, Ruto said that the difficult public conversation for the past one month had provided an opportunity to reflect deeply on the relationship between fundamental rights and democratic freedoms. Now, the president's decision to name only 11 nominees and additionally announce that he would continue with further consultations has been interpreted as a move to give way for Azimio coalition to agree on certain proposed names. But is Azimio wholly interested? Concerns over whether Azimio is united or divided are emerging. Even louder, different voices raising different political and social questions. Meanwhile, Kenyans, especially the Generation Z, who pressurized the government to dissolve cabinet and withdraw the finance bill 2024, are already scrutinizing the named nominees. Who, according to an art traces of records, now show some tainted past? It remains a wait and see situation, even as the Gen Z continue to plan the anti government demonstrations across the country, seemingly ignoring voices like that of the Deputy President regarding Gashagwa, urging them to halt the protests. The greatest test, however, is on the supreme legislative arm of government. The National Assembly, this time, ought to exercise serious caution not to receive instructions from their political party masters, careful enough not to betray the people. Well, tonight, we bring you the latest concerning cabinet appointments and more. Thank you for choosing KTN News and welcome to the broadcast. I am... Anki Doris Mbat and Damien Evans is on the sign language. The highlights. We will 